yo, 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 what's Papino, what's Papino, Zeke Black is in the building, um, definitely shot the 10 toes down, Ch definitely check out the 050 movement, Boy on the street is blue boys back in jail, um, I heard some stories swinging around the internet, a situation that happened, I guess, in the workplace, some things happened, um, I'm not going to kick the man while he's down. Do I think he's in there because it's gang banging? I don't know. I wasn't there. Um, you know, New York State did change the, the, the gun laws. The gun laws didn't change in New York State. So I can't look at it for how it was four summers ago. Even though he got caught with it, even though if, he, if it's a gun, whatever, I'm trying to protect himself, they might try to give him some time for the gun, but it may not be that bad. Don't know. But the feds could pick it up because it's a second, whatever the case may be. I'm going to say that, um, you know, the man was actually doing his thing, man, on his social media. He was on a lot of major platforms. I heard Vlad say that he was responsible for at least 5 million views on his platform. He was definitely making moves in this media thing. But I don't think media was his thing. So, of course, he's, he's you know his reputation. He's forced to get a job, and you got, you got to take care of yourself. But in this in this world that we're in now, where there's a lot of violence and things do happen, I'm not surprised to hear that something like this has happened. When you when you work in the public, definitely nowadays, they're gonna have guys that's gonna try to rob establishments and spots, and sometimes you have to protect yourself. The streets ain't the, the streets is crazy, but the streets is even more crazier now with all these crises, the fentanyl crisis and the rest of them. I don't want to be a conspiracy theorist around this, but the word on the street is Blue Boy. I believe was locked up. The man did a lot of time. Thirty nine years is a lot, a lot of jail time. We all must admit, thirty nine years is a lot of jail time. I don't wish bad luck or jail on nobody. You know what I'm saying? And I wish him the best. But I'm going to be honest with you, it's been a bad year for the Crips. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's seeming that a lot of these young Crips from New York are getting caught up in these weird situations. The Chef G's, not um, Fario's situation. And, um, you know, it's just a couple of more. Bobby Smith going crazy. He's going to boom this online, and whatever the case may be. Uh, yo, man, this is. This. this, this, this I'm not going to say he's in jail for this gang culture, but this gang culture is really looking crazy right now. Because the, most of these guys are getting legal bags. Even if, even in the Blue Boy situation, what I heard, he had a job. And it happened at the job. Which, the job and the spot he was at, things like that most li are most likely to happen. But a lot of these guys are doing the right thing. So, so do not assume that because you're doing the right thing, that something cannot go wrong. Because we're, we're looking at it now. We're seeing a lot of these rappers getting caught with guns, shootouts, getting shot at, getting robbed. This is supposed to be legal money. This is, this is more things that happen to people that's trying to do the right thing than it's to people that's actually doing the wrong thing, numbers-wise. Like k Flock shouldn't be sitting up in the penitentiary. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but it, due to his lifestyle, these are the things that's happening. Um, we, we definitely... I would definitely like to touch on more on this, but we have to check out the other platforms. Definitely check out the old five old movement. They got something they're gonna be doing with some great speakers up there. I seen what Ten Toes Down did earlier. But word on the street is Blue Boy is back in the can. Um doing the right thing in life though. I can't shoot him. You know what I'm saying? It said he was at work when the thing happened. An illegal job. He wasn't at a he was at a bud spot, but a legal one. But there's more information. That's gonna flow out there. It's just crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? The man, you know, you try to do the right thing, and sometimes things just go wrong. But we wish him the best, man. You know what I'm saying? We wish everybody the best. We don't wanna see nobody sitting in nobody's jail cell. We don't wanna see nobody spending nobody's yard. That's not cool, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, people ask me about the YSL thing. Listen, man, I don't know the state of Georgia laws. 
I can't look at their RICO law like the federal RICO law. I can't look at their RICO law like this New York State enterprise corrupt law. Every law has their they, 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 they degrees, their points. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to play Madlock. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not here to play people's court. Only thing I'm saying is that there's a lot going on out here. And for a lot of you guys that's doing the right thing, keep doing the right thing. Just remember, anything can happen. Definitely when you're dealing with the public. When you're dealing with the public, anything can happen. So you don't, you don't necessarily have to be in the street for something to happen to you in the public. When you're, when you're in a public situation. We've seen rest in peace what happened to take off in a public situation. Oh, the private party. You're going to say it's a private party, but it was in the public. A public situation. Um, in the private party. When you're, when you're dealing with the public, things are liable to happen. It's like working at a gas station. You have to think in the back of your mind, somebody's going to rob the gas station. So you're doing the right thing, but some of these jobs can put you in a situation that can cause you harm. But you have to feed your families. They don't want you in the streets knocking over banks. So what I'm going to say is, man, is that drug addiction is high in these dirty, dirty streets. Mental health issues is high in these dirty, dingy streets. So do what needs to be done, man, and things happen, man. And when things happen, my, for, for how I look at it, is I can't look at it from, well, he was a crip, he did 39 years, and he killed, allegedly killed, or he killed, you know, Larry Davis. He's the man that's been home. And, and I know for it, he's graced many people's platform. A lot of people want to hear his story. And, and he's reached across the world over 5 million people. I don't know if he realizes that a lot of times you get on these platforms, we look at it from a local standpoint, but he's made an international standpoint, an international thing. It's just you got to put yourself around people that's going to put you in a in, 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 in better position when it comes to this media thing. Do I think that Blue Boy had a chance to make it into Hollywood? Yeah, the Blue Boy story would, would, would have been very interesting. A Blueberry documentary, just his life. A man who was in the street in the 80s, and then he caught he a whole bunch of jail time. And then came home, and I know fun. He came home to, you know, this media. So, you know, we can't say he crashed out because, to what I heard, he he had a job. But world in the street is blue boys locked up, and you know, it's not a, it's, to me, it's not a colored thing. It's not a, yeah, I'm happy what happened to him because of what happened with Larry Davis. I have nothing to do with those politics. I'm not a jail guy. I ain't do over 10 years in the penitentiary. So my my time doesn't add up. The mathematics don't add up. What I'm going to say is that we as the people, we just, you know, we just wish and we, and we want to do the right thing, man. Like I told you, New York State didn't pass guns. So... We don't know how the gun laws is looking now. You may not be getting 20 years or 15 years minimums for your second gun charge. Plus, the last felony he caught was Larry Davis. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Probably. So that was like 10 years ago. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we don't want the feds to pick it up and then dust them off. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know what I'm saying? Just because as a felon, I don't care what state you're in, you can, you're not supposed to possess a gun. You know what I'm saying? For your felon. Unless other states got other little bylaws that can get you around that. I don't know. I haven't been in North Dakota, Wyoming, or Idaho, so I couldn't tell you. But from what I know about New York State, if, if you get caught with a gun and the state don't want to push it and the feds want to snatch it, they can if you have a possession of a weapons charge gun. With that being said, man, let's be smart. Let's pray for the man. There's so much going on out here. We got the young boys. Um... The YSL, we got the, it's, it's so many, it's, it's so much violence, but it's all legal money. It's as crazy as it sounds. We got more violence in the, the new hip hop than we have in the streets to the point where they're snatching up crews that's part of hip hop for street shit, allegedly. So with that being said, let's be mindful. Let's be mindful of the company that we keep. We're talking about the legal money generation. And this ain't even scamming. This is... You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, that, that could be anybody. When you work in the public, you got to expect something to go wrong. It's just, just, it's just, just the public, man. I'm sorry to say this. It's just working in the public. You can be working in the supermarket. Something can go wrong. It goes wrong all the time. You watch it on these, on these videos. 
So you'll be careful out there and just, you know, just stay out the way. If you can, if you can't, you gotta go to work. Just stay sucker free. With that being said, salute the Southern Bell, salute the, um, for all those people that follow, follow me. And this is my first actually just state the video I've done for Zeke Black on Feed the Wolves. With that being said, shout out to Spanish Harlem, East Harlem. With that being said, peace.